Hey, homegirl. I hope everybody is doing okay today. I have to put some lip moisture on. I'm already looking crazy with my scarf on. Couldn't have had a crusty lip too. But it is 4.23 in the morning. I am at work as you can see. But I was about to do something and I figured, let me bring my homegirls with me. So, lately I've been feeling like I've been letting the days get away from me. And I wanted to come up with a plan. So, I'm about to create a daily to-do list. And I figured I'd bring my homegirls with me. I want to be intentional about this before I say that um, this might end up getting a little choppy just if I get a call of course I'll have to pause y'all for a second but um, I want to be intentional about this list because I really want to maximize my days um, you know Jordan is in, in summer camp Blake just left actually just a few hours ago, uh, he left with his mom to go to California for the rest of the summer. Um, Amir's in daycare. So I say that to say I'm going to have a little bit more free time because my mom cup is going to be a little bit more um, empty, to say the least. So anyway, I want to like maximize my days. So I said I want to like actually type out something to like check off to do on a day-to-day -day basis um for example you know it might look a little different because i work midnights so what most people like get up and do in the morning i get up at like 11 30 p.m or i'll do it when i wake up in the afternoon so my schedule might look a little bit different but come with me and let's create a daily to-do list um so i'm trying to decide <laughs> If I want to type it out on the computer and then like print it out and like post it somewhere, or if I want to like just write it cute like in my planner or something. Like, for example, I have my workout um, list up here. Post it, my workout child. Uh oh. Like that's posted up here. So I, I don't know if I want to like post it somewhere like that. Or. If I want to put it in my planner. Isn't this cute? I have like a. Ooh, that'll be a cute thumbnail. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have a, um, a pencil holder. And like my little highlighter. This is like so convenient for me. And then this is my favorite pen. But anyway, this um, this is a ledger planner. And it has, I think I have a, a video, like a lot of videos ago where I actually like detail my ledger planner. But this has space in it for me to write. But I would have to do it at the start of each month. I don't know. If I want to have to redo it at the start of each month. So. I think I'm going to type it out. Let's start there. Okay. So what is something. Let's create. A file. On Word. One second. Okay. So we are going to create a file. Which you guys have to continue to look at me because I have. Why would I? I can't change the font. This. Why? Why won't it let me change the font? Um. It won't let me. What? No. Um. I'm going to. What? Am, 
what am I talking about? You guys have to look at me because I have it put up with my um, work stuff. So I think I'm going to type it out, post it, but still like write it in my planner too where I can check it off. Um, but I was going to say, what are some like daily things that you guys do that's kind of like a non-negotiable? For example, I just bought some Black Girl Vitamins, which I should go right and get those. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll do that at the end of this video. But I just bought some vitamins, so I take my prenatal um, prenatals. <laughs> no, I have not taken prenatals in three years, and I don't plan on taking those. Not my prenatals, my birth control. Um, I take my birth control every day. I um I just bought some Black Girl vitamins. Um, I got that from Instagram. Um, I take the D three. Um, dietary supplement, the one a day, and the hair, skin, and nails. So that's kind of like a non-negotiable because I have to take my birth control. So taking my vitamins, that would come. I normally take those right when I get off in the morning. Like I just go upstairs, pass the kitchen, take my vitamins, and then do whatever. So... Daily to do list. And I'll make this all pretty later for the sake of time. So, daily to do list. Maybe I should change. Let's just put it on here first and then we'll work out the order once we get the things on the list. So, number one is take vitamins vitamins that is not how you spell vitamins vitamins okay number two okay take my vitamins something that i have to do um and again this is a not in we'll, we'll, we'll rearrange the order once we get everything on the list um but number two i'm gonna put i love this book number one if you know me you know pink it's my absolute favorite color. Um, also, it has butterflies. If you know the story about my daughter passing, you know that uh, her nickname was Butterfly. So it's pink. It has butterflies. And it's just small and cute and girly. And it says, be still. And no, I'm sorry for the sniffing. My nose just like got stuffy. But it says, be still and no. And on the back, it says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Um, so this is my daily devotional. So you open it and it has um, just the dates. Can you see? That? It has the date at the top and then scripture and just some uh, good information in the middle. It was so cool because today, um, it, it already has it on the 30th. Um, today I opened it. Like normally the bookmark is in there because I read it every day. But when I opened it today, when I came downstairs for work, it opened up to my birthday. And I don't know. I just felt like maybe I just needed to read that one. I just did it again. April 27th. Wow. Maybe one of you guys need to hear it. I can't believe I just did that. In the middle of me talking about it. Oh my gosh. That just gave me chills. <laughs> okay. Let's just read it. Because for it to happen twice. And then right when I'm talking about it. So maybe one of you guys needs to hear this. I'm, so, I'm sorry for the same thing. April 27th, depending on God, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. And now I'm getting the call. Whoa. 
I'm definitely going to read this now because now they're trying to stop me from reading it. I'll be right back. Crisis Lie. I'm doing okay. What's going on? Thanks for asking. <sighs> okay. I'm back. I have to uh, finish this paperwork. But I couldn't come back and talk to y'all. But y'all, why? I had to keep muting the phone. I don't know what's going on. I swear before I started... I did not sound like this, but I had to keep muting the phone because I kept sniffing in this person's ear like I'm about to blow in y'all. So actually, I'm not going to do that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to take y'all with me while I type this up real quick, and then we're going to get back to... Um back to my birthday devotional so before we get to that um i just want to talk about this call that i just had oh excuse me so the person that just called uh basically had some concerns because they were experiencing thoughts of liking the same sex, same gender, whatever. And um, these are new thoughts for them. And they're like, I don't know why I can't come to terms with it. You know, I can't find peace in this. This is something that I, I think about. This is something that is like trying to come out of me but I can't find peace within it so I just wanted to say that the crisis line I don't know if I've talked about the crisis line before and exactly the details of it but the crisis line is not necessarily just for having suicidal thoughts oh I'm starting to get sleepy it's not necessarily for just suicidal callers. If you're experiencing anxiety, depression, your best friend, you and your best friend got into an argument. Um, you're just having a bad day. You can't find your keys. You stubbed your toe. Like, give us a call. 988. No matter what city, what state, old, young, suicidal thoughts, just having a bad day. Give us a call. Sometimes you just need to talk it out. Sometimes you just need support. Sometimes you need resources. Also, if you're in Michigan, 211 is um, a good resource guide. Um, findhelp.org is a good resource guide. Um, 211 also has a website. You can call or go to the website. Um, 988 and findhelp.org. But I'm going to get back to the point of this video. But I just wanted to plug that in real, real quick if you are watching this you're experiencing suicidal thoughts if you just need somebody to talk to please give us a call you don't have to go through these thoughts alone as you can see it's almost 5 a.m this person called like look i can't get these thoughts in my head out of my head of blah blah blah, blah. so let me type this up real quick and then we'll get back to the point of this okay i'll be right back
back to business. April 27th. Depending on God. I read that in the wrong words. Depending on God. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Death and taxes. They say those are the two things we can depend on in life. Of course, they don't mention the neighbor who fails to return the cordless drill again. The empty fuel light blinking when you're late for work again. And the spontaneous yet cheerful visitor ringing the doorbell when you're still in your pajamas at 3 p.m. Unpredictably is something else. Unpredictability is something else that we can depend on. Through every unpredictable situation, through all disappointments, delays, and disruptions, we can cling even more confidently to the faithfulness of God. He is the one. He is the one solid rock on which we can firmly stand. He is steadfast and loyal, asking us to trust in his promises. God commands that we not be afraid or terrified. If it weren't possible, he wouldn't ask it of us. He guarantees that he will always be with us, no matter where we go. If it weren't true, he wouldn't promise it. Thank you, Lord, that when life is unpredictable, I can still depend on you. You are always near me. Help me cling to you when everything else is shaking. I don't know who that was for, but... That's my birthday, April 27th, and I turned to this page twice today on a mistake, which you all just witnessed a little bit before that. So um, the first scripture, the be strong and courageous, do not be afraid or terrified for the Lord, your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Um, that scripture is Deuteronomy 31 and 6. And this is the beast, the beast deal. This is the, I don't know what the name of this is, but um, this is a women's, a women's daily devotional that I got, excuse me, from Amazon. So hopefully that um, touched somebody because it wanted to be read. And if you're interested, today is June 30th. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to try to edit this and post it. So it'll actually post on June 30th, which I have all day. Cause it's five o'clock in the morning <laughs> on June 30th, 2024. Um, but June 30th says remedy for the weary. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Isaiah 40 and 29. When you are suffering from any form of bodily, bodily sickness, your body puts most of its efforts into fighting the illness. As a result, you feel tired and weak and sometimes to the point of not being able to get out of bed. This analogy is a good way to understand how our heart and emotions can feel weary and weak when we are dealing with the pressures and difficulties of life. What is the remedy for your weariness and weakness? Jesus. He is the one who can mend a broken relationship provide you for provide for your needs give you patience when you are angry and peace when you are anxious god is your friend when you are lonely and your father when you need protection trust him for all of these things and your soul will find strength and vi vitality to live to the fullest jesus on those days when i am tired and weak remind me that you are everything i need Thank you that you care about the weary and the weak and that your love and power can lift me up in the times I need it most. Grant me your strength today. Now, back to the list. Where did the list go? So, like I said, and I'll change the order, but right now we have take vitamins, read our daily devotional, Daily devotional. Um, what else is something? It's I got cold. First I was hot, now I'm cold. What else is something that we need to do? 
drink water every day. Drink water, take our vitamins, read daily devotional. Um, non-negotiables every day. Hmm. What else do I do? See, and that's why I'm making this list because my routine is all over the place. Like, I get off at 8 a.m. Sometimes I go right to sleep. Sometimes I don't. Um... I have my workout list. <sighs> I be playing games. I need to put that on the list. But I actually want to make it. Something. That I really do. So maybe I don't have to do a full workout. Although I should. But maybe. I should just put like. Some sort of workout i really hate that my nose is stuffy right now like what what happened every time this is why i don't do videos like this because i either feel like i need to have my hair well i have a ponytail it's done i just have my scarf on but i always like because i watch a lot of youtube videos and i always feel like everybody that i watch it's always just so put together. Like their videos is just like edited so perfectly. And the aesthetics. And they have their Stanley cups. And their nails and their hair. And uh, that's not my reality. And if I wait for that. I will literally never post videos. Like if you've been watching. If this is your first video. If you go back to all of my other videos. You will see half the time my hair is not done. Um... It's just real. It's just real life happening. It's not that I don't care. I care about myself. I care about my appearance. You know, when I step out, I like to look presentable. But also, I'm a mom. I work midnights. And the reality is all of us don't walk around looking like that. Like, all of us don't have it all together. So, I'm going to be the representation of the ones that don't have it together. Nope. No, no, no. I take that back. Let me not speak that over your life or my life i am the representation of the real raw who doesn't have the hair and the makeup and all of that stuff we do have it together i have it together you have it together we're not going to speak anything other than that uh, okay i'm getting off topic here Take vitamins, read the daily devotional, drink some water, um, engage in some kind of active activity. I think that's fair. Engage in some kind of active activity. So rather that's walking the dog, doing a few sit-ups, a few jumping jacks. I think that's fair enough to where I'm not committing to a full workout, but I'm trying. And that's the point of this. Let's try to get a good healthy routine going. Okay, what else? I feel like I had did some notes. What the heck? I had did some notes on my phone. Um, if you keep seeing me looking, um, my team, <sighs> they're posting messages and it pops up, but I have my sound off. So I just want to make sure nobody is, uh, messaging me. Okay. I feel like, where did it go? I had something on here. that I started I was watching another YouTuber and she was creating a list I don't think it was a daily to-do list I forgot what the title of her video was but within the video um she was talking about like her daily to-do list and I started mine 
uh, excuse me, oh, stretch, engage in some kind of active activity. That could be stretchy. Okay, so one thing that I have on this one that I created on my phone was touch or kiss my husband. Now, you might feel like, why does that need to go on my to-do list? Well, because I work midnights, literally I'm getting off at 8 a.m. And he is starting work at 8 a.m. And it's like we crisscross. We both work from home. But even with us working from home, sometimes we get so lost in the day that it's like, Hi, how are you? How was your day today? Excuse me. So I don't want to get so caught up in the day that I don't even kiss my husband or only time we touch is if we like mistakenly bump into each other walking past. So touch or kiss my husband. Engage. No, I don't want to say engage because we can we talk all the time, but engage with in some intimacy. That doesn't always have to mean sex, but you know. I just want to, I don't want to lose that with him. So, touch, kiss, uh, get intimate with husband, touch, kiss, get intimate with husband. And then I also had some one-on-one -on -one time with my kids. Same thing. I don't want to get so caught up in the day where... Um, you know, I'm just steady like fussing at them and I don't say, how was school? How was your day? Are you having a good day? Are you having a bad day? Like I want to actually talk to them, even if it's five, 10 minutes, like let's have a moment, no phones, just kind of uh, like a quick check in. Um, so touch, kiss, get intimate with my husband, some one on one Focus time with the kids. My husband too, for that matter. Is that it? That's six things. I don't want to overfill. Now again, this is a non-negotiable to-do list. Not a, you know, things that I want to do. Because I can really fill this up with things that I want to do every day. But these are the things that before the 24 hours is over... I have to take my vitamins. I have to read my daily devotional. I have to drink some water. I have to engage with my husband and engage with my kids. Is that good enough? Hmm. I want to put on there. Check. My planner. Because. First of all, before I say that, I'm just looking around. It's like so much pink. My phone is pink. My robe is pink. Daily devotional is pink. Planner is pink. The pencil is black and pink. The marker, I mean the highlighter is pink. My favorite pen is pink. The bookshelf is pink. This, I just, I love it. I love it. It might be. Um, okay, let me hurry before I get into the call. Um, I want to put, uh, check my planner because the planner and the, the dry erase board calendar upstairs because our days fill up so fast, y'all, between baseball, football, Amir's going to be starting soccer, Leno, he'll have some things here and there. I have things like check my planner. I'm going to put that on there. Even if it's just a quick open it up. What do we have going on today? What's coming up tomorrow? Let's check in. Anything I need to order by a certain deadline. So check planner or calendar. Check planner, calendar. And that's seven things. I think that seven things. One second. 
Okay, I gave my nose a good nose blowing. I feel a little clear for now. I'm sure it's going to get back in a minute. It is now 5.21. And I'm getting sleepy. So I'm going to wrap this video up. I forgot what the last thing I said was before I cut the scene. But let's do a quick review. Y'all should see my hands. So I spot, look, I'm sitting here with my hands crossed like this. <laughs> um, so daily to-do list. This is what we have so far. And I'm going to rearrange the order. Matter of fact, let's rearrange the order right now. I feel like, well, actually, this is, it doesn't have to be in an order. Because I might not, yeah, the way this is, it doesn't have to be in an order. God comes first, obviously, but um, this list doesn't have to be in an order. So, I have to make sure I read my daily devotional. Let's do a or. Or and spend time with God. Like an and, and, or. And of course, I'm getting a freaking call. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So, what we have so far is read our daily devotional. Slash spend time with God. Take our vitamins. Drink water. Engage in some kind of active activity, stretching, going for a walk, working out, things like that. Touch, kiss, get intimate with my husband. Um, that does not mean sex every day, although I'm sure he would love that. <laughs> but just some kind of, um, you know, intimate touch. One-on-one um, -on -one time or focus with my kids. I have three sons, so just some... Um, Going over colors with the mirror or uh, asking Jordan how was his day or Blake. Just, you know, just some undivided attention without our phones in our hands. Just engaging in some good conversation. And checking my planner and my calendar. I think I want to put that up top with the daily devotional. Take the vitamins, drink the water and the planner because it might be some really important stuff on there again it doesn't have to be in order but um i am going to rearrange it and that's it that's all i have so again this is not my full to-do list this is just the things that i have to do so if i don't do anything else oh if I don't, if within the whole 24 hours, if I don't do anything else on my to do list, I have to do these seven things. So I'm going to end it there. My word for you guys is um, just try. Just try. This is something that um, I feel like my days get away from me. I feel like I need to be a tad bit more organized. I'm a fairly organized person, but I could still be more organized. I get caught up in social media, scrolling. Before you know it, half the day is gone. Uh, whew, excuse me. I'm getting sleepy. So, just try. Try whatever it is that's um, if it's something that you want to work towards, something that you want to get better at, just take that first step. So I feel like if I do this for a week straight, two weeks straight, before you know it, it'll be a month and it'll just become a habitual part of my everyday. And then I can move on to the next thing. So my word for you is just try. You never know what trying how far that could get you so what are you going to try to do today tomorrow don't do it tomorrow try to do it today take that first step today so anyway thank you guys for joining me 
thank you for listening to my sniffles coming to work with me i'm gonna wrap this up i have a break coming up in a minute and i think i might try to close my eyes for a few minutes um but yeah until the end make sure you like comment subscribe share engage with me um give me some video ideas if it's anything that you want to see um let me know in the comments and remember as always be you because you never know who needs you just the way you are see you next time home girl bye